So, so this is hatred, happiness, and soul lie. Gotta put white there. Okay. And hatred and happiness. Let's put gold there. And if this is not going to work, then we're just going to get April to tell us what it is. Uh. Hatred bronzed. To be honest, it's a very unforgiving game, and it's got a huge number of quirks and bugs in it, but I do like the feeling of this game. Something's not right. I need some more clues. Take that one down. Where's golden? That's golden. <sighs> and let's put the other one on here. Right. What do I do with that? The clues that everyone's given me probably not play this game. To be totally honest with you, don't know how to reach that. That's not what's opened. What is opened? What is opened? But he's opened. Ah! The Dark Barrier. An obscene woman shaped mannequin. It appears to have grown that shape as if it were a plant. The room is full of dust and smoke. I cannot get in. Vessel and mortar will have that. Thank you very much. That oh, won't let us through. It might still be usable. Let's try. <laughs> it's definitely trying to distract us away from it, isn't it? I'm unable to light it without oil. Okay. Right, we've gone a step further. We've got a door open. We have a pestle and mortar, so that's obvious the next step is to use the pestle and mortar for something. The leaves are still there, so I wonder if we could use those... Uh... Because we don't actually appear to have... Anna doesn't want that. Steak, woods... Okay. Hmm... In Minecraft I must have the worst world. One never-ending forest, the other never-ending snow. Oh, never-ending snow would not be fun. Okay, so what do we do now? Have a quick look in the other room. If anything jumps up and down and says, Use me! Uh, 
Yeah, that screech is all really nice. Right, I'm not seeing anything new. So I'm thinking perhaps we should use... I wonder if we can take those leaves down. <laughs> that effect shouldn't be there anymore. It was badly damaged by that secretion from the eye on the wall. Okay, it's worthless. It's worthless. I don't like crumbling my hands, I wonder. No, it's worth a try. The obvious answer is... Right, what have we used? We've used that, we've used the paintings. We've been given a pestle of mortar, so the obvious thing is to use it for something. Anything that would qualify as uh, oil? No. Just one sec. Right. We're about to have a visitor, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody's, somebody's got utterly sick and tired of my dismal performance in this game. Hello! Hello! Earth to April! Hello! <laughs> oh, when you get a message that says whoops hang on you know to hang on I suppose right she's trying that again hello I can hear me I can hear you how you doing um good my mic was not plugged in <laughs> now, the obvious question here is how long did it take before you noticed that was the problem? Um, until you said hello, April. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you share screen so I don't have a delay? Sure. Uh, share screens. Oh, yeah. Everything's fighting for control over my mouse. There we go. Right. Oops. Can you see us now? I can. All right. My, my internet's being really crappy though, so hopefully. Oh, yeah. All right, catching up. All right. Well, everyone's missed you. So how are you doing? Uh, hi everyone. I'm good. Uh, thank you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, making some chicken later. That's that's very exciting. Uh, it's always good. Uh, it's always good. Um, yeah, I was, I was happy to see you um, starting to do your your Alice series again. Oh uh, yeah, thanks. I yeah. I didn't play it in so long that I completely forgot how to play it. Yeah. Like, yeah, but I'll get there. I pro I will not give you clues in this unless you ask me. I promise. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, at the moment I'm trying. I'm thinking you know it's because I've been given the pest and the mortar. Well, it's, there's two new things here. There's the pestle and mortar, and there's this oil lamp here. And I'm tempted to use the axe on this woman, just for the sheer hell of it. But uh, would you no, like... it, it's obvious we can't get any further here. Would you like a little, little tiny clue? Go on then, give us a little tiny clue. So, when you got that powder mm -hmm. read about how it's made from silver and gold. Yes. You've got something, well, two things that are silver and gold. Do we? Mm hmm. Mm. Do we? You have to, you have to retrieve them, bro. 
Uh, oh, of course, yes. I mean, I started doing that, didn't I? Mm -hmm. uh, but this one, this one didn't work. This one's gold. Let's grab that. That one's dead. I was going nuts when you were trying to do this puzzle, but this puzzle's a pain in the butt. The, <laughs> the one with the pictures. It's not very obvious, is it? No, but, a lot of these uh, are pretty esoteric. Yeah, I do like it though. The, the, the artwork is really nice. It's uh, sort of... It ties in very well. It's a sort of vaguely old European stroke, sort of slightly Arabic feel to it. So nicely medieval. Right, yeah, so... They... Go ahead. Sorry, go on. Please carry on. No, they uh, they went into a really old house and recorded yeah. all of the, the wood creaking for the floors. <laughs> right. Which I thought was cool. <laughs> all right, so now... Mortar with silver and golden leaves, so we should be able to use the pestle on that now. Yes. <laughs> Probably not as pure as the electrum powder I found earlier. And uh, but it should still work. Alright, now I'm wondering if The other stuff okay. you need is in this room. Okay, now. Now I'm sure I should imagine we're gonna to want to put that in the oil lamp. To get it to diffuse through the air, as we were told in the book at the start of this episode. Um, just need to find some oil for it, I should imagine. Now, I'm pretty sure the oil is in this room. Hey, there we go, oil. Bazing. Bazing, as you say. Bazing. <laughs> the link in the lamp is now usable. It can be lit at any time, so let's do that. A full oil lamp. It's going to burp from time to time, just contentedly. Yeah. And there we have a lamp. The light is not strong enough, or maybe it's not. And this is a hint, ladies and gentlemen. Pure enough. <laughs> Purify the lamp. Purify it. And some electron wait, dust. Wait, there we go. Nudge, nudge. Yes. Say no more. <laughs> yes, yeah, say no more. Because <laughs> a nod is as good as a wink to a blind camel. There we go. <laughs> okay, it looks like Twitch is about to go wahoony shaped again, guys, so I'm sorry if we lose you again. Aw, that's sweet, Melody. Thank you, because I feel like such a control freak. <laughs> okay, don't take this the wrong way. You are such a control freak, but quite frankly... <laughs> We needed it at this point, so don't worry about it too much. So we have a a, a, a telltale heart. Mm -hmm. We have an iron bar. Mm -hmm. And we have a wheelbarrow. But the wheelbarrow is probably not going to be of any use. Oh yeah, girly simmers. I did an LP of this a long time ago. It's well, well worth looking up though, because she does it a hell of a lot better than I do. Oh, thank you, Simon. Right. Um, take the pulsating heart. It beats. It beats. I can't stand it any longer. I should destroy it. Uh, the iron bar. Excellent. Oh, she fell down. She uh, fell down. Crud, though, you have to get something off of her. Um, look at her finger. You see where there's a ring on one? Oh, I hadn't noticed that. It's a wedding ring. It looks shining clean. You need to use the knife on it. Ah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Now this is this is this is April not getting involved. I'm so glad <laughs> you, you you guys have got a chance to see this. Because, you oh, know, no quite frankly, you're not going to see much of it. Right, okay, what have we got here? Now we've got the Telltale Heart. Hmm. We've got something big and heavy to beat it with, but that's probably not how it's going to work in this game. I bet we're going to have to put it in there. Um, I'm biting my lip, Shul. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what have we got? Okay. Um, douse it in oil and set fire to it. No, of course not. <laughs> Just set fire to it. You know, very flammable, these hearts. No. Oh, and I don't know if you heard, but Mega Racer, yeah, we're happy to help you. Everybody has bad days sometimes. Yeah. People online have butt faces. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm getting really, really, really worried about the... <laughs> Remember, kids, this is not the normal way to retrieve a wedding ring. <laughs> I mean, there's a massive clue there. There's a wedding ring on that. You know I'm willing to bet it's got to go there. You know what you do with those later? You combine them, but if you want the perfect ending, you have to combine them in a specific order. Oh, yes. Um, you know, at the moment, I'll be happy with an ending. I've got to be honest with you. Oh. <laughs> No, once once you get the hang of this game, it's fun. No, what they did is they put in a bunch of things mm. that don't actually do anything. Yes, I've noticed that as well. Mhm. Mm and they mess but, with you. But I've got to be honest with you, that is not actually that unusual in one of these sort of games. Yeah, because oh, is it? I haven't played that. No, to be totally honest with you, I mean, once you once you uh, realize that you've got to uh, combine the spaceship with the lemming. In order to proceed to proceed to the next room, you you know, it just doesn't make well, any sense lemming. at all. Yeah, yeah. The lemming has always wanted to go to space. It's really very yeah. nice of you. Uh, I don't know if you guys the know. Second you... oh, go on, go after you. The second you want a clue, just say so. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys know, but so uh, 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 Terry Pratchett, so Terry Pratchett, one of my favourite authors, uh, actually had a couple of games made about his. Um, his Discworld series, which is a fantastic fantasy series. If you're into reading in any way whatsoever, well, well, well worth going to, uh... Oh, I'm so tempted just to brick it up in a wall. It just so, it seems so, sort of right, poish enough for me. Yeah, um, one of them was a point-and-click adventure, which was actually really quite good. We played it through many, many years ago when it was out, and... But some of the questions were so open-ended, you never know who you to ask them to, that they just became a bit oh. of a joke in the family. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, sort of many, many, many years later, there was jokes about, tell me about a dwarf called El Kali, um, which is just a line that you could just ask everyone. It meant absolutely nothing, but... Uh. Okay. Um, oh, one thing, I forgot the heart beats while doing it. If it's mm -hmm. annoying, you can just put it right into the stove. It'll yeah, stay there. I knew it was going to have to. I knew we were going to have to burn it. And in fact, let's just go yeah. and do that, shall we? Yeah, just get rid of it yeah. until you do the rest of the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> right. So okay. So that got to go in there. You lied to me. You lied oh, to me, April. It should let you put it in there. You lied. Oh. Okay. Do you hear this, you boys and girls? <laughs> April lied to us. I did. It was deliberate and horrible. Hit it with an iron bar. Give it a ring. Here, stove. Marry me. Marry me. And it's not even saying. It, it, yeah. Do you remember there was a thing that needed a longer thing for opening? Don't. Don't. That's, that's just rude. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's prod it with our iron bar. No, that's... No, that, not that one. <laughs> well, let's... Put it with a, uh, a tool. Let's mix our tool with the iron bar. No! <laughs> let's throw a heart at it. <laughs> Damn it, you! Bounce! Boing, if I throw boing. it hard enough, it should flip open. Hee-hee! <laughs> no, okay. Uh, <laughs> I've had enough of this. <laughs> There's another hatch. Yeah, you. yeah, um... Yeah, this one here. So, oh yes, we can use it as a lever, can't we? Yes. You're so close to unlocking uh, another part of the house. <laughs> spare parts for the stove. So let's use these spare parts. I don't know how you reattach this. Like that. Oh no, but it just seems kind of weird. <laughs> oh no, well it's, it's it's a game. Thank you Simon for helping me with your videos. They really help me feel better. I'm so glad that is the case, uh, Mega Racer. It's it's never good to feel down. Sweet. Oh yes. Need a kindling. Yeah. And burn that horrible, horrible thing. Yeah, we found that one earlier. Uh, 
Uh, use the soft roots. Use the soft roots. Oh, wait, crap. There we go. What is... Yeah, there we go. Oh, sorry. There's a little bit of a lag. Yeah. <laughs> and... Oh. It's on pink for me. There we go. I am just guessing here, but I don't think she's enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, it can. Uh, you can't hear in the chat, but there's this horrible screaming. Well, the the chat will hear it, but about ten minutes after the rest of us. Oh. And oh look, stairs to the attic. So we've got a new room. Let's just have a quick look through here again, just to make sure we haven't missed anything. I doubt we have, because April's not telling us that we missed anything. No, yeah, none of this. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Oil lamp with electrum. And let's go up to the attic. Right, we just, just achieved uh, unlocked an achievement called Purple Rain. Purple Rain, Purple Rain. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> okay, yeah. This is where the spoopy stuff starts mm. happening. So scurry. A little bit more. That's the sound of look vaguely Aztec now, isn't it? Some of these uh, these drawings. Mm -hmm. That's a trapdoor down. Rituals of Our Lady. Given the nature of the cult de dedicated to the carnality and the glorification of life in all its numerous forms, devotion to the Great Mother requires, amongst the many and complicated rituals, the use of at least two types of sacred blood. The first, which I have hitherto discussed in depth in another essay, is the blood of the sacred tree of life. The second, no less important or sacred, is the red blood of the goddess, to be prepared according to a distinct and particular ritual in preparation for those greater ones which will follow. The esoteric nature of this process is double, seeing that, on one part, this precious blood prepares the material for the major rituals of the cult and on the other, its correct application relates to the studies of the young male followers who were... Whilst preparation of the characteristic red candles used for the rituals is the task of the young maidens and the men cannot learn its secrets. Proceeding with our main argument, I will now explain the procedure for the preparation of the red blood of the goddess. As just mentioned, the primary instrument for the ritual is a blood-red candle of specific manufacture. One preparing to perform the ritual with common candle must be backed by a very strong faith and a solid will so as to counter the lack of this instrument. Guess what we're going to be doing, boys and girls? <laughs> if one ever has the, the fortune of finding in a temple a blood-red candle of a brilliant and clear hue brought by a young maiden raised amongst the faithful of the goddess, this instrument, together with the correct procedures, would permit the preparation of the red blood of the goddess with no error. The manner, time and prayers needed for the manufacturing of the ceremonial candles remain obscured and some claim without any element to support this explanation, that amongst the ingredients was the first blood of the maidens responsible for the ritual. Being unable to follow the secret procedure, our counsel is to obtain a pure red candle. Once obtained, the candle must be placed by clean hands within the ceremonial symbol reproduced in this code exactly in the center. When the celebrant must light the wick and wait as he prays, that drops of mounted wax, now having become the red blood of the goddess, do not drip from the purified candle of the ritual. Yeah. Mm. Ew. Um, yeah. Mega Racer. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, after you, please. Mega Racer. Oh, Mega Racer. That'd be really super fun. We should do it another time. But I have someone coming over for dinner. I'm so sorry. What's he suggesting we do? Uh, chat later. 
Ah, oh, oh, okay, hi. That, okay, that is one hell of a mouse. <laughs> uh, no the word, uh, no word of a lie here, okay? You, you will not miss that in the skirting boards. Lots more mannequins to catch fire. Yep. I don't a, know what it is, but people think dress forms are creepy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would like to be honest with you, to a degree I can understand that. They remind me of the ones used in blood rituals of your... Your what? See, even puns. Her. Her! Don't you get it? Her! <laughs> you just got another key. Okay. For all the effort they put into getting the sound of the creaks right, they really should have spent more than 20 minutes doing the squeak of everything opening. I know. Alright. We have a book. We have a shoe candle. And we can't jump. I keep on forgetting about that. Okay, so more lore. Oh, and another one of these. Statue. And the scholar of magical practices must always keep in mind the assumption. The eyes are within the face, and they not only see on the basis of what they encounter, but also on the basis of the face that hosts them. This allows them to be aware of the same impression in a different manner. Therefore, knowledge of the result of the observation of external facts and our interior world, our senses act like theoret theatrical machinery, working behind the curtains to change the scenery. For this reason, a mask which is created in form and substance like a face could alter the perception of, of who wears it. Therefore, we shall herein discuss the creation of these masks. Ellipsis. And so it is kenned. Hi, it's kind, and so is kind that the more someone approaches death, the more they may attain a clear vision of that. Uh, <laughs> sorry, of all that concerns death itself. I'm going to be in so much trouble when Laura hears that, and it will be possible in the end for them to perceive the secret bond between the blood spilled and the souls of those who killed them. This is the secret of the idol of the assassin. The secret of the idol of the assassin of the dog of the left hand of the path of Tuesday. It is capable of revealing the secret bond between the actions of the person and that which of, of, of mortal and blood is bound to such actions, a bond which is normally invisible. And the most puissant idol, there's a word and a half isn't there? Pussant idol with the greatest revealing capacity once they it is befittingly prepared is verily that of truth. It will reveal every secret bond to whomsoever holds it. It is also bringer of great danger and unforeseeable trouble, as there is no filter for its enlightening power. It will there be therefore possible to see things which extend beyond the bearer's capacities of understanding. Or of endurance, like the darkest side, that secret labyrinth of criminal desires and intentions which root in the depth of the soul of mankind. However, at the same time, this capacity will give access to positive secrets, to sacred and hidden things, even to places which would be unreachable in another manner. And because of, because of it, this, it is worthwhile to discuss the strife and peril for the discovery and utilization of the idol. Or, in one sentence, if you see a mask, put it on. <laughs> but, okay, yeah, it's, I mean, they, they've got the writing right as well, to be honest with you. It's very... You fear death, and yet you have no qualms about bestowing it. The, it's it's, it's very 1870s, isn't it? <laughs> I think you can get past the uh Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I want do want to look around this room first, mind. 
Yep. Oh, actually, how come okay. something's been puzzling me all the time. What on earth is this thing? That's your sanity meter. Well, if that's my sanity, I don't want any of this. Thank you very much. 